So we'll be covering uh, the classification of immunodeficiency disorders, primary immunodeficiency disorders, uh, which are humoral uh, cell mediated or both and uh, the secondary immunodeficiency disorders and also the laboratory diagnosis to detect the various immunodeficiency disorders. So now what is immunodeficiency disorder? Our immune system is multifactorial and it is very complex. So uh, abnormality or uh, malfunctioning of one or two components of uh, the uh, immune system can lead to immunodeficiency disorders. So now uh, these uh, immunodeficiency disorders are broadly classified into primary immunodeficiency disorder and secondary immunodeficiency disorder. So now what is primary immunodeficiency disorder? Here uh, there will be abnormality or uh, there will be uh, no uh, malfunctioning of the immune system itself. Then you call it as the primary immunodeficiency disorder. Secondary immunodeficiency disorder occurs due to some underlying conditions that, that can be uh, some uh, infection uh, or it can be due to some drugs or uh, it can be due to uh, nutritional adequacies you know, or uh, some um, uh, metabolic syndrome. Uh, all these can lead to secondary immunodeficiency disorders. So now uh, this primary immunodeficiency disorder again uh, are classified into specific uh, immunodeficiency and uh, non-specific immunodeficiency disorders. So specific immunodeficiency disorders are associated with uh, the uh, deficiencies in humoral immune response or cell mediated immune response or both humoral and cell mediated immune response. And then we have the non-specific immunodeficiency disorders. Here are uh, the components of the immune system like uh, complement or phagocytosis uh, which help to augment the uh, immune response will be deficient. So those we refer as non-specific immunodeficiency disorders. So now coming to the primary immunodeficiency syndromes, uh, here we have uh, the uh, first category that is humoral immunodeficiencies. Under this we have six immunodeficiency disorders. The first one is the X-linked A gamma globulinemia. This is very common in males and there will be reduction in the immunoglobulins or uh, sometimes uh, the immunoglobulins will be absent. Okay, so this you call it as X-linked A gamma globulinemia. The second one is transient hypogamma globulinemia of infancy. Here there will be a late synthesis of immunoglobulins that will lead to recurrent infection in infants. And the third one is the late onset hypogamma gamma globulinemia or we call it as common variable immunoglobulin deficiencies and this happens um, during uh, the uh, third or fourth decade of uh, the human life. And fourth type of immunodeficiency is a selective immunoglobulin deficiencies. Here, uh, selective immunoglobulins will be deficient like IgA or IgM or IgG will be deficient. And the fifth one is immunodeficiency with hyper IgM. Here, the other immunoglobulins will be, re will be reduced, uh, whereas there will be hyperactivity of IgM. And the last type of uh, humoral immunodeficiency is transcobalamin deficiency. This is mainly due to vitamin B12 deficiency. So these deficiencies, we'll be seeing it one by one in detail. So first, let's look into a case. Here is a 12-month-old male. Uh, he came to the uh, uh, no, pediatric OPD for eval evaluation of recurrent infections. Uh, he had no medical problems under six months of age. Why no medical problems six, till six months of age? Because the immunity will be provided uh, by the maternal antibodies. Since then, he had developed six year infection as well as one episode of pneumonia requiring hospitalization and IV antibiotics. He has had some loose tools attributed to use of antibiotics. On physical examination, the patient had uh, height and weight 
8 in the 50th percentile and the tonsils were absent. So this is the case. So here we, uh, here we see the boy has got uh, recurrent infections and uh, uh, no, uh, there is uh, 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 the tonsils are absent and uh, he also required uh, hospitalization due to uh, repeated episodes of infection and uh, he also required IV antibiotics. So here, here it clearly says the boy is immunodeficient and um, because of that uh, he is getting recurrent infections. So it could be uh, X-linked A gamma globulinemia because he's, uh, the patient is male and uh, uh, the recurrent infection is due to deficiency in uh, immunoglobulins.